Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build a mega menu for your WordPress website using a plugin called Max Mega Menu. There are other different ways to build mega menus, but in today's specific video, I'll show you the plugin about Max Mega Menu. So what is Mega Menu? Mega Menu is an interactive way to showcase your menu within a grid or a flex layout. Other than that, normal menus have the drop down and a sub menu option. But in Mega Menu, you have a beautiful page like layout, uh, like three columns or four columns. So um, uh, that's very interactive and user friendly. So this is how a Mega Menu looks like. Uh, I already built this and here is a grid layout with some images and text and here are normal menus but this one is a mega menu. So uh, I have a new fresh installation here which is a normal menu right now I named this mega menu but it's not working yet so uh, I will make it like this at the end of the video. So go to your dashboard and click on plugins, add new plugin. And search for a plugin name Max Mega Menu and press enter. Okay, click on install now. After installation, activate the plugin. And when the page refreshes, you will see that there is a new menu called a mega menu on the back end. And if you come to appearance menus, you will see a new option came up with all the menu options like mega menu, but it is still uh, the previous menu. If you enable the menu, the mega menu for primary menu and this is the location for which your menu is set click on enable and save it and then save your whole menu save it and immediately if you come to your front end and refresh the styling will be according to the mega menu setting so come back to the mega menu and click on mega menu gear option this one and we have fly out we have mega menu grid and this is the 3 by 12 gear, grid and this is 4 by 12 which means there could be three columns 4 by 12 and third one is 4 by 12 okay now we will select a widget and let's add a text first click on edit give it a title Let's add a title. This is first section of, uh, or let's make it short, section one. And let's add a text for this menu. This is the first section text in the mega menu. And copy this to make it more text. Okay. We have a first section and first widget setup. Let's add an image. Minimize this one. And in image, click on settings. Let's add a title like product one. Select an image. Let's choose a square image. So it's almost a square. And let's save it. You can also add a link, but I'll show you later. Okay, let's save it and see how it looks like on the front end. Refresh the page and you can see that the width of the mega menu is according to the main menu, which is very small. So for this, we will go to the mega menu option and click on menu themes. Then click on mega menu tab here and 
by 100% it means that it will cover the whole menu which is uh, smaller. So we will add a fixed width of 800 so it will be wider than that. Let's save the changes, go to your front end and if you hover now you can see the menu is way wider than the main menu. So this is what we want. You can add any height or any width you want. Okay, let's go to the menu bar and let's choose the background a little bit silver and it is a gradient so you have to choose the second one as well. Okay, click on choose and let's save the option. refresh the page and we have a silver background but not for hover yet hover is still darker you can also change the text color uh, but we will do it later let's go to appearance menu okay now click on the setting gears again and we will add more contents to the third uh, second and third columns so let's copy the image and add it product to add image choose a product image and add to widget okay now uh, we have two columns but we can add a link to this so that when users click on that product it will be gone to a specific link for now i'll set it to google.com and let's edit the first one and um, point it to another website like let's say yahoo.com and click on save okay uh, let's refresh the page and see how these two columns looks like okay let's add a text widget to the second column as well go to the settings again add a text and let's copy the first section text Let's name it section two, section two. And let's copy the text from section one to save our time. You can add anything, but uh, keep the height of the menu like similar so that it don't look ugly. Okay, we have two columns ready. And now uh, we will add third column with two images. Let's see how they looks like let's add an image drag it to the third column and let's add image again drag it to the third column okay uh, let's name the first one image one add a product first now name it image one and save it Let's go to the second one and name it image two. Choose an image and add to widget. Okay, let's save it and refresh the home page and see how it looks like. Okay, there is way too high. Uh, so let's remove the titles from image one and image two so that it resembles the other two columns. It is not a big deal, but at least it, it must look, um, look good. So let's refresh it. And now the heights are almost identical to the first two rows, so two columns. So that is how you can create a beautiful mega menu for your WordPress website using a free plugin called Max Mega Menu. I will show you more methods like using Elementor, using a theme, uh, like the Woodmark theme have its own mega menu structure. So I'll show you uh, gradually later. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.